MMA athletes, they have to do high intensity training sessions, strength and conditioning. They have to be doing sparring. They have to be doing pads rounds that are crazy hard. Um, and, and, and every athlete, each one is going to have a different intensity relative to, to, to their body type. You gotta mix up your training. Mix up your training. Doing the same thing all the time, it, you know, it will have um, effects, you know, in the short term, but long term, you know, you need to shock the body. I've been training at the Performance Institute since the beginning, so two years now. It helps me basically understand like the way my body works, understand how I should be training and what should help me improve my conditioning. I want to give you a little bit of a philosophy of what we do. We always focus on strength plus speed equals power. Nets is very beneficial, number one. It's a way of building skills, accuracy, timing, and of course building your stamina. Even if I have a three round fight, we'll still do five, five in a round. And you can mix things in there during a mid-session, you know, every round. It can be sprawls, it can, you can do mid-session and then have a partner by on standby to wrestle with a little bit, just to kind of get that real feel. I have seven days a week, two days of active recovery. I'm, I'm pushing 50 to 80% threshold the rest of the week, and, except unless I'm doing a 20 to 20 to 40 to 50% threshold active recovery, just to, so that I will recover faster. When you train that fucking hard and you go that hard with good ass people, you're never gonna have the best day. You're gonna get your ass kicked some days in the gym. And if you're not, if you're always winning, you gotta go to a new gym. You gotta find somewhere where someone can't beat your ass every now and then. Diet is demand more than anything. You know, you can go to the gym three, four times a week. But let's say you train an hour at a time. That's three, four hours a week. How many more hours is there? You know, in a week, I'm not sure. But 164 hours. Okay. Uh, 164, that could be wrong. 164 hours. <laughs> You eat shit for 160 yeah. hours, and those four hours where you train isn't going to combat that, you know? So it's got to be a lifestyle, and the battle is won and lost in the gym. Too. It's all about what you put in your body. If you train that hard every day, and you had a bad day, you, you come home, you don't have a chip on your shoulder anymore. I've let out all my aggression I possibly can. So what did you do for striking? You want? You really want to know what I did? Yeah. You know the USC game. I would use Henan Barral and um and, and Jose Aldo, and I'll do stuff with them. I'd be like, oh yeah, this works in the game. What? Yeah. But Henan Barral. You would and watch the video game. I would play the video game and be like, oh look at this. I would try combination. I'd be like, oh yeah, this kind of works. So let's try it. <laughs> go big or go home. Exactly.